Hey guys, it's Max. In this video, I'm looking at Premiere Pro and checking whether it runs better on Windows or on Mac. Now, I've heard from multiple people that Mac computers are better for creative things, for photographers, for videographers, designers. I don't know where that started from, but it doesn't seem to make sense because Macs use the same exact parts as computers, as PCs do, just different operating systems. For example, this 2015 iMac that I ran this test on has an Intel 6700K, has an M2 SSD, same RAM, same exact parts. So let's see if it's actually true that OS X, we're gonna look at OS X, runs Premiere Pro better than Windows. The first test, we're gonna take a 20 second 4K clip, run it, warp stabilizer filter on it, and see how long that render takes. Looking at OS X, we get four minutes, 38 seconds. Running Premiere Pro on Windows, we get five minutes and 55 seconds. Interesting, so we're seeing here that OS X is doing it faster, it's doing the same render. Once again, they're all the same computer parts, just running the different software. So uh, let's move on and see what kind of difference we get in some different tests. This next test is a 1080p clip, five minutes long with two LUTs and film grain applied. OS X, four minutes and 13 seconds. Windows, two minutes and 52 seconds. So here we get the opposite effect Windows is running faster, OS X is running slower. So let's move on to the same, oh, it's a five minute clip, it's the same uh, actual clip, but it's a 4K version of it. Also two LUTs and film grain applied. Running Premiere Pro and OS X, we're getting 12 minutes and 59 seconds. So basically 13 minutes. On the Windows side, 11 minutes and 41 seconds. Once again, Windows is doing a better job with Premiere Pro, but it's less of a difference if we're just looking percentage wise. Now let's go to something even more difficult. This is four 4K clips scaled into a 4K timeline. Each clip has two LUTs and film grain applied and two of the clips are running in reverse. So much more difficult to render this. Let's see what difference we get. Running Premiere Pro in OS X, we get three minutes, 32 seconds. And in Windows, we get three minutes and 45 seconds. In this one, the tables returned. OS X was actually faster than uh, Windows running Premiere Pro on this clip, but of course there's not that much of a difference. So overall, what I've learned is, of course it's not true that you have to get a Mac for creative work, both systems work well. Now, if you thought a Mac was better and you're using Premiere Pro, you can really kind of think again. Uh, of course, the benefit of getting a Mac is it's a beautiful machine. Uh, if you prefer OS X, you can go that way, but don't think that you're gonna get better performance running OS X. Uh, overall, they were both very close and it's not uh, enough of a difference to choose one platform over the other just for this task. Of course, uh, the iMacs and the Mac Apple machines, uh, they have OS X, which uh, is easy to use. I think it's a little bit easier to use, has a little bit less issues. It's beautiful, but it's a lot more expensive. If you're on a budget and you're running Premiere Pro, a Windows machine will do a fantastic job for you. And of course, you have more flexibility in your parts and you can build a faster machine for less amount of money. So hopefully this video was a little bit helpful to you guys. If you wanna see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. I have a video coming out. It's uh, compared 10 or maybe more than 10 graphics cards ranging from $150 all the way to 600 uh, to see how, what kind of graphics cards, how much of a difference that makes and how much money should you really spend on a graphics card for your, uh, your build for your video editing computer. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can ask that in the video description below. And if you guys wanna download the tests that I did on these systems to see how your system compares, there's a link in the video description that you guys could check out. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.